HOLEP stands for Holmium Laser Enucleation of the Prostate. It is arguably probably the gold standard for managing uh, lower urinary tract symptoms related to benign prostatic disease. In the HOLEP, uh, we do a procedure. It is done under general anaesthetic, generally as an inpatient, and most patients will have one night in hospital. The procedure takes between an hour and two hours, dependent upon the size of the prostate. And it involves enucleating the central bit of the prostate to generate a large channel to improve voiding uh, afterwards. Following the procedure, you will have a catheter in situ with some irrigation, washing out the small amount of blood that comes from the prostate. Our normal plan is to keep you in hospital overnight with the catheter in. The catheter is removed the following morning and over 90% of patients will be discharged that following morning catheter free. For the next two weeks, there are some irritable urinary symptoms and you may find you are more passing urine more frequently and more urgently over that period. Beyond two weeks, your urinary symptoms will improve dramatically and you should find you uh, pass urine with much greater flow, less frequency, less nocturia, and um, improving your quality of life. My usual policy is to see a patient four weeks after surgery and at that stage, discharge them. As with all surgery, there are risks. And this goes especially for surgery to the prostate. Essentially, 80% of patients find that their urinary symptoms are improved following this surgery. 15% may say that their symptoms are more or less the same. And very importantly, about 5% of patients will say that their symptoms are worse. And this includes a 1% risk of some wetness and incontinence following this procedure. One other important feature is the impact on sexual function. 70% of people will have retrograde ejaculation, which manifests itself as dry orgasms. And one in seven patients will have imp an impact on their erectile function. Occasionally, there are uh, severe symptoms leading to, to prolonged inpatient stay, but these are fortunately very rare. 